Planetary Sojourns and Soul Development The astrological forces are indications of the entity's activities and show inclinations, but they should be rather as knowledge, rather as understanding. Knowing these things exist as urges, as inclinations, but that in the daily dealings with the fellow man the problems of the hour, the problems of the day, are sufficient unto themselves. And as an entity, a mental being uses same in the light of its ideal, so does the soul become aware of its associations with, its contacts with, that which brings blessings, that which brings reverses, that brings consternation, that brings harmony. Those things that arise as innate influences from sojourns of the entity in the environs about the earth, that some call astrological forces, are as indications of the developments of the entity. Not that they produce an influence other than that which may be controlled by the application of self-regarding experiences or circumstances that arise in the activities. That given, then, is that which will be helpful, hopeful. Forever is it apparent, ever will it be the experience of the entity, that it is not by knowledge nor even by power alone that activities may come. But it is what one does about that one knows in relationships to one's fellow man, in making for the expression of that which is held as the ideal in the experience of the entity. In Jupiter we find the broadening, or the tendency for the entity to become associated with influences upon rather than by others. For the influence the entity may have from others is individual, while the influence the entity may have upon others is rather more the universal. By the very indications of those experiences that have been indicated as to how the influences or activities of the entity may be used to give expression to those developments that have been in the mental or soul experience of the entity. It tends towards the experience that may be termed as innate, or as feeling those conditions rather than reasoning from what may be termed cold reason. This makes for those conditions where the entity may in its applications of its abilities become as one that may influence the affairs of others a very great deal by its expressions that may reach masses of peoples. The experiences in the interims of the earthly sojourn, then, are also developing periods in those environs or consciousnesses around or about which the entity has builded and through which it passes in its experience towards the gaining, the acquiring, its relationships with the creative forces. Hence the soul eternal is constantly in its activity towards meeting those influences. Those activities that have been indicated may be seen and experienced in the action of each soul in its going to. Meeting acquiring that relationship it bears with the creative influence. The astrological sojourns, then, as they may be termed, are as an indication of the manners, the means through which the entity has passed in attaining its present relationships. In the astrological we find the entity upon those aspects termed the cusps, or an individual subject to those influences of Gemini, yet more in Taurus, as well as the psychic or Piscean influences as well as the influences from the astrological sojourns. These as we find, rather than as they are ordinarily interpreted, are indications of the entity's development rather than those forces that may bring this or that influence in the experience. For not knowing a thing makes one wise, but the ability to use it or apply it. Not what one knows about this or that, but what one does about that it does know makes for that influence, and for those changes in the experiences of individuals that bring about either weal or woe in the experience of an entity. As to the appearances in the earth, and those that have their influence upon the entity in the present, while there are not a great many in numbers that bear upon the activities of the entity in the present, most of these have been very definite and produce specific conditions and experiences in the entity's associations and activities or have those tendencies. But noever, there are given those forces of will, those understandings of creative influences or of God in the experience such that each soul, yea, this entity, may turn within and know him. And these forces bring the greater hope, the greater harmony, the greater joy in the experience materially, if they will be sought. For they that seek may find, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened and he will come and abide with thee if the self will but entertain, but allow those influences from the creative forces to manifest. 
and because there are the natural inclinations from those sojourns in the earth as well as those in the interims about same, hold fast to the creative influence, the spiritual life. For life is eternal, it is as of that which each soul must meet itself face to face. Know that the influences of an astrological aspect, or the urges through the emotions from sojourns in the earth, are only as the patterns, or indications of those influences that are in the activities of an entity, and that will is the ruling factor ever, the birthright of each entity, given in creation. That the entity may become one with creative forces or God in its manifestations in any sphere. Hence the purpose ever is, as has been so oft given, that ye may make your paths straight, that ye may enter into that at oneness with him for the more abundant joy, of not merely sacrifice, not merely self-denial, but that thy purposes, that thy aims, that thy desires may be in accord with, one with, those that are the creative forces in the experience of each and every soul. For when the souls of men had wandered away, he, not willing that any soul should perish, has prepared a way through which, by which, they each may find their way again to that companionship, that relationship with the creative forces. Hence in each experience, again and again the opportunities come for the manifesting that which is the ideal of each soul in the relationships with the fellow man. As to whether it becomes for weal or woe depends upon the manner of application of those that have been given as the fruits ever of the spirit of light, life and immortality. Just being kind, just being patient, just showing brotherly love, just long-suffering. For these manifested in the experience make for developments towards the knowledge, the understanding of the relationships with that creative force which is as the longing for the soul. Not merely for rest or ease, as judged by man in the material plane, but rather as of a growth into the knowledge and the understanding that as ye do it unto the least of these, thy brethren. Ye do it to thy Maker. For God is not mocked, and whatsoever a manifestation or body sows, that it must also reap. What then is the purpose of the knowledge of thy activities as related to the astrological, the sojourns? That ye may know that indeed ye have in him an advocate with the Father, and that he, thy Father, thy God, is mindful of the children of men, and seeks that they of themselves will seek to know his ways with man. As to the influences and the experiences of this entity, then, from the astrological aspects we find these have been met in most of the activities and the present experiences. For these become in Jupiter that of a protective influence, so that the relationships, the dealings, the activities of the entity tend to be well of an individual nature, rather with the minds of others as a whole, as a group, though individual in application. Hence in any field of service or activity in which the entity may give the greater hope or knowledge or aspect of human experience or endeavor becomes an outlet for the self that gives the assurance that ever thy spirit beareth witness with my spirit as to whether ye be the children of God or not, not in an abstract manner, but in the definite giving forth of self, as in the abilities of building first a home. Hence the relationships become such that for the greater development of the entity in this experience it must build that which is not an idealistic but an ideal environment for those associations or activities that will give again and again the greater opportunity, the greater outlet for self-expression in the writings of the entity, the abilities of teaching with those that may be associated in such an activity. In giving the interpretations of the records here, these as we find are in those positions of changes. Yet these are given with the desire and purpose to make the experience a helpful, hopeful one in the application of that the entity has or may set as its ideal. Remember, these records are the interpretation of that ye have builded in thy mental, thy material, thy spiritual activities through the sojourns of the soul entity in the material world. Through the relationships and activities ye have manifested towards others. There comes then into the experience of each entity, through a material sojourn, the consciousness or awareness of its relationships to others. As a manifestation of its ideal in relationships to creative forces or God, or the God-Self. 
Hence the premise is that while there are urges, these are merely signs, indications of what the entity has done about what it has said as its ideal. These do not force the entity to be or to do this or that, but they have their influence. And it depends upon the will or the choice of the entity, as to whether such an influence becomes constructive or destructive in the experience. Such urges, as we find, arise from the varied sojourns in the earth as well as sojourns in the astrological aspects between the earthly sojourns or during the interims when the entity is in such an environment as accredited to the astrological aspects because of their relative position not only to the earth but to the ruling influence or force within our own solar system or in its astrological aspect to the whole or to the sun, the ruling power or force. Hence the entity is continuously meeting its own self and what it has done towards its ideal. And there is constantly the choice before the mental self, for the mind is the builder, as to what it will do with its opportunities of every nature and its relationships to its ideal and the activities towards others. These urges then we find are not impelling, but are to be chosen according to that which is the ideal in relationships and activities during the present sojourn. In giving the interpretations of the records as we find them. These portions of same are chosen with the desire that this experience be a helpful influence in the activities and choices of the entity in this experience. The records of the entity are upon time and space, and are a part of the entity. Thus we find this entity, as each entity, is in the present the result of that the entity has applied of creative influences and forces in every phase of its experience. Thus it makes for that call by some karma, by others racial hereditary forces. And thus environment and hereditary forces, as are accepted, are in their reality the activities of the mind of the entity in its choices through the experiences in the material, in the mental, in the spiritual planes. The entity finds self then a physical, a mental and a soul body all in one, with its virtues, its abilities, its weaknesses, its intents, its desires, all prompted by something innate and manifested according to the application of self towards the mental and spiritual attributes of the entity as a whole. There are then those accredited signs or omens or indications of characteristics in the innate and manifested activities of the entity. But these are irrespective of what the entity is to do or will do, respecting same. In the interpreting of the records here, then, we find the entity from the astrological aspects is influenced not because of the position of the sun, the moon or of the earth in its relationships to planets or zodiacal signs or other influences. Yet all of these are recognized as a part of the entity's environment. For it is not by chance but a purposefulness that each soul enters, that it may become so developed so applying itself and its relationships to the spiritual things. Through its mental and material associations, as to become a fit companion to its sources, to its maker, to the first causes in the spiritual and the mental phases of an individual experience. Hence there are laws immutable, unchanging. These are of spiritual import, yet are applicable in the experience of each entity in its dealings with its fellow man. That ye sow, that ye reap. As ye do unto thy fellow man, even the lowest in thine estimation, so ye do unto thy maker. For the imprint, the soul, the spirit of each entity is a part of that great whole, that I am, by which the individual ego would seek to pattern itself. Hence there must be in the experience of each entity an ideal, not merely ideas but an ideal of a spiritual import. And that ideal you may find, you will find, within thine inner self, as is shown in him who is the way, the truth, and the light. The image of him is within thine own self, if you will but open thy heart, thy mind, thy conscience to the indwelling of that force, of that promise which is thine own, if you will but embrace same. In those abilities of thy mental and material self, then, pattern same after his manner of expressing same before his fellow man. For ye are indeed the fellow traveller with him. In the attributes of self and its abilities from the astrological sojourns, we find then the high mental ability, 
that affability, that ability to make friends easily, whether those of its own sex or others. And as ye become naturally one to whom many will look for counsel, for advice, temper such ever with that mercy, with that judgment as ye would have mercy shown to thee. And know that as ye would that men should do to you, ye do so unto them is the rule by which thy attainments, mentally, physically, spiritually, will be measured throughout thy sojourn in this material activity. There are the abilities then to judge as to the value of things, conditions, experiences in thy relationships, as well as conditions in thy environs, these are a part of thy activity. Because such conditions, rather than figures or mathematical problems, are more in accord with the application ye have made of thyself, in the astrological as well as in the material sojourns. Hence in a field of activity or endeavor where thy judgments may be as to the plausibility of the use of this or that thing. Whether it be merchandise or things of commerce or things made or manufactured, or those experiences such as teaching, as edification, or of that nature, all become a part of thyself. As ye apply self in those directions. Then, as drawn from thy activities through material sojourns, with the ability as thou hast to tell others of such, you may make a place in thy material associations in which love of the very activity may bring material success, mental satisfaction, and spiritual opportunities for itself.